Now it's time to go and explore the island. Maybe we made a mistake. I'm Julia and I'm Italian. And he's Mess from Denmark. And this is our home, Alba. After years living in the city, we gave in to the call of adventure and moved on our sailboat. We're currently sailing in the south of Italy, along the coast of Sicily. Subscribe to the channel and join us aboard for new adventures every week. In the previous episode, we passed through the magic portal of the island of Panarea and immersed ourselves in its enchanting atmosphere, well aware that we would soon have to leave all this behind. In fact, as we would soon experience for ourselves, sailing from Panarea to Lipari ended up being our last moment of tranquility. Given the peacefulness of our sail, I decided to make farinata, a traditional flatbread made of chickpea flour from the Italian region of Liguria. Our daily lives are dotted with many small choices. Each time we come to a fork in the road, we stop to consider our options, and then we decide in which direction to continue. Each choice is like a dot on our path, and by joining the dots, we can retrace the entire course of our lives. Some decisions, though painful, turn out to be immediately right, such as our choice to go to Panarea despite the uncertain weather. But in other cases, it takes us longer to figure out whether we went in the right direction or whether we made an error of judgment. And this is precisely what we would soon learn in Lipari. We got a spot here at Lipari service, one of the pontons here in Lipari. We ate some food, got a cup of coffee, ate some chocolate and now it's time to go and explore the island. Satisfied with the farinata and mistakenly confident in our birth, we set off to explore Lipari. Lipari is the largest island of the Aeolian. It is said to have been founded by Liparo, the warrior grandson of Ulysses. The narrow streets of the town of Lipari tell authentic stories of daily life, where hands invisible to us water a jungle of plants and flowers, hang fragrant clothes, and cook food with a delicious aroma. Lipari did not just appear to us as a tourist place to visit, but as an idyllic town to settle in for some time. Around every corner hides a monument, an archaeological treasure or a work of modern art. Although the town is not very large, there are many small and big gems to discover, such as the Church of St. Agathon or the majestic Cathedral of St. Bartholomew that guards a wonderful cluster built a thousand years ago by the monks. Not to mention the castle of Lipari, which narrates an era that starts from the Neolithic and goes all the way to the impossible love story between Edda Ciano, the daughter of the fascist leader Benito Mussolini, and the fervent communist Leoni da Bongiorno. They sang about the feeling that united them following the virtues of the Odyssey, just as Ulysses and Circe celebrated their impossible love. And here we are, back from our excursion to the city. Do you see Alba moored at the floating dock? And do you see those waves starting to rise from offshore? Well, these are elements that we should have assessed a little bit better.
We're not really in the best position right now. We are moored at a floating ponton in Lipari, not in the port, so outside the port, just like this is ponton um, coming out of the beach. We're more there and we're facing the open sea. Uh, and there, there are waves that are getting bigger and bigger, they're coming into the bay and basically, yeah, not smashing us against the ponton, but almost uh, we have front moorings and back moorings they seem to hold now we have put four back moorings to the ponton but the problem is that when the wave comes then first the boat goes up and then the moorings uh, get super tight the mooring line lines get super tight and then the ponton goes up so we are scared our mooring lines are gonna snap why did this happen it happened because the wind in the afternoon has been different from the weather forecast and therefore the waves are coming from a different direction than uh, what we thought um, we thought that we would be protected here we couldn't get a spot in the port we thought that this was the best solution Maybe it was a mistake, I don't know. Uh, the nice thing is that people here, uh, the people working here are super nice, super sweet. They have helped us yeah, moor the boat in the best possible way. Um, so now we hope we can stay here for the night, we can resist. We know we're not gonna sleep well, we're gonna watch some TV series and just like play some board games. <laughs> if things get real ugly, so if for example one of the lines snaps, then I think we're just gonna leave. Uh, we are ready to leave. We have prepared the boat for leaving, closed uh, the B Mini and uh, yeah, everything is ready. Maybe we made a mistake, I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Uh, hopefully everything is gonna be fine uh, and we're gonna be able to rest tomorrow. Are you alright? I'm good. A bit worried about the ropes and the cleats and the... The waves. <laughs> the waves, but uh, otherwise... Good it's good fun. Update of half past 11. Um, it looked like there was too much traction on our cleat, so we went there and checked. Then, while we were looking at it, the fair lead it's called the fair lead snapped, uh, broke, and uh, yeah, so we had to do something. <laughs> we ran uh, the rope to the midship cleat instead. Uh, so now there isn't that much um, traction on the back cleat. Let hope, let's hope that this works. So yes, we made an error of judgment. Even though the weather forecast seemed to grant us a comfortable berth, we should not have stayed here at the floating dock. It would have been better to sleep at the anchor. During the night, we really feared that the cleats would be ripped off the boat and that our mooring lines would tear apart. If that had happened, the boat would have been at the mercy of the waves. These were not easy hours. We regretted our choice, also because in these situations, especially in the dark, it is easy to get hurt trying to adjust the moorings to avoid damage to the boat. In the end, the solution we worked on for hours and hours held until morning. And the next day, we left at first light to look for a berth in a proper port, Porto Pignataro. We spent the day resting and recovering our energy. In the end, the damage to the boat was minimal, a very small price to pay compared to what we received during the previous night. The moments when we make mistakes are part of our lives, and I dare say, they are almost worth celebrating, because they teach us something we might otherwise never have learned. And in my opinion, it is only by welcoming mistakes as insights for growth that we can prepare ourselves to take on greater and greater challenges and more and more epic adventures. Don't miss the next episode in which we are confronted with the final battle of our journey.